Did you know, for example, there are 336 dimples on a regulation golf ball, which is why they're so adorable. <laughs> <laughs> the biggest participation sport in the world is fishing. Of course, a lot of the participants are fish, and they're not happy about it. <laughs> right, let's get started. <laughs> Sean, Johnny and Gabby, uh, what else have the nation been talking about? We're going to go, we're going to, I think, a, a slightly different route, shall mm. we, Sean? Yes, yeah. go on, Gabby. Yeah. Yeah. Well, well, it's Gabby. coming up to the Winter Olympics in Vancouver, and Torval and Dean, possibly the greatest Winter Olympic moment for yes. Great Britain And, and also strictly, strictly ice dance, whatever that crap is. That's, <laughs> that's, that's got people interested in ice skating again. They've been showing a... They think about it. Yes. In their head. They're very lucky. Most ice skaters, you can be the best in the world at ice skating. There's no money in it. You can be the world champion, but in six months' time, you'll be going backwards at the NEC in a goofy costume like that. <laughs> 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 you know, there's no money in it at all. And I don't understand why there's no sponsorship. You notice they never have sponsorship on their costumes. And I think it'd be good if they had it on their, on their gusset. You know when they lift them up? And you lift it up, and I guess it just said, like, Subway. <laughs> <laughs> OK, let's see if Torval and Dean is one of the most memorable sporting events. Come on. <laughs> yes, incredibly, Torval and Dean is the nation's most memorable sporting event. It, it's surprising, oh, yes. but it was watched by 24 million people. Wow. I'm not knocking ice dancing. I just think if it's going to be Olympic sport, we should also include ballroom dancing, teabagging and bin finger. <laughs> uh, fingers on buzzers, two more things to get. OK, Sean. Is it where Colchester got that uh, draw with... Liverpool uh, <laughs> 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 running around ...in the Freight Rover Trophy in 83. And um, there were 60 minutes left on the clock <laughs> and they managed to pull one back and that was fine, they managed to hold on right to the very end of the game. <laughs> Um, no, uh, is it uh, when Mike Tyson, he, took, he took a bite out of Evander Holyfield's ear? Yeah. I think that would be top, actually, because that was the most shocking thing I've ever seen. In, you know, I, I interviewed in. Evander Holyfield, and he, said, yeah, and he said that he had no so idea. What? He said, what are you saying? <laughs> <laughs> Somebody had, to, somebody had to tell him. Somebody had to go over and take his. So he was hitting him. He was going, Who, he's got an ear in his mouth. This bloke's a nutter. <laughs> Let's have a look and see whether Tyson Holyfield is one of the most memorable sporting moments. Yeah. Yes. yes, in 1997, Mike Tyson was disqualified after biting Evander Holyfield's ear. That bite was probably foreplay. I'm confident if the bell hadn't rung, he'd have bummed him. 